Hey, good afternoon, guys. So I grabbed lunch today and do a quick update on my experience in FBA as well as talk about some things I learned recently. Last week, I ran out of inventory for a couple of my items. This week, I just used air shipment to ship the products directly to the warehouse. They'll be restocked maybe next week. It says FC transfer right now, but people are already purchasing it. Sales after Prime Day, it, I saw a small decrease in sales, but I think it's mainly due to my um, inventory that's out of stock. So next thing I want to talk about is managing by stats. Now this program, I've been using it for well over a week now and I should have gotten it much sooner. I was using Excel before this and basically in business and in life, anything that's you want to achieve, you have to track it, you have to measure it so you can have accountability as well as be able to improve, see what's working, what's not working. So I have around 50 products now and yeah, it's a mess in Excel sheets. I have one sheet for almost every SQU now and I have a sheet for advertising as well as other expenses like long long storage fees, um, product transfers to the warehouse, they charge you on that, they charge you, you have to track refunds. Yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of expenses that you normally, like, starting out, you wouldn't even consider. But even, like, if you do labels, you have to account for that. You have to account for taxes. Yeah. If you, if you do some dropping of, like, UPS, like me, sometimes, you have to account for, like, uh, gas and electricity. So, yeah, it adds up. But with managed by stats, I think it takes care of the basics as well as it's accurately like if you have that many SKUs like products, you have to match each and every single um, like for example, you want us to know which is your most profitable product. You really can't do that without something like managed by stats because you're gonna have to go through all the other products and then match the um, advertising costs as well as all the other costs involved, refunds, etc. And then match it back. It's really, really difficult. I was using uh, pivot tables and V lookups to do that for me, but with Manage by Stats, it's much easier. And I did sign up for the um, advertising as well. So I've been playing around with that also and seeing my ad spend and we have a t um, targeted AOCS, which I'm playing around with. I'm not sure if it's working, but I turned that on and just lowered it to like 15%. I saw all my AOCS costs right now is is hovering around 20%, which I think it's, it's a little too high, but I'm not certain on that. I have to check out more videos and see what other people say about their uh, A. AOCS. But I want to aim for at least 15% this quarter and maybe in December ish I could let it run like just go full out because I know organic sales be high but right now I just want to target it make it lower to maybe yeah around 15% and 10 would be optimum I think. So I'll put the links on about managed by stats on below I think it's worth it just if you have even if you have one or two products I mean it gives you a good foundation like I should have used this program it's like uh, like the major programs you need like Jungle Scout, Viral Launch, what else do you need? I have Feedback 5 I tried Feedback Genius but I didn't like that and yeah this I highly recommend Managed by Stats See? To just get started with it and start using it off the bat because without stats you're basically going in blind and you don't you can't improve like I have some products I recently looked at 
and the margins on it, I thought it was pretty good, but adding PPC and advertising and shipping, yeah, it's the margins are actually pretty low. I have to start doing sh sea shipments for this. This is quite a large item, and I did the um, calculations on it theoretically. With saving on shipping, it should increase the margins by another ten percent. But yeah, it's it's hovering around fifteen percent, which I really don't like. And yeah, I'm considering cutting that product, but it's selling really well. But yeah, you have to know your numbers. And another tactic is also negotiating prices. And if you if you uh, constantly reorder from a supplier, they can keep giving you the same numbers, like. Oh, you want this again, but if you do a larger quantity, they still might give you, if you don't ask, they still might give you the same pricing. So always ask. I like doing that whenever I reorder and increase my quantity. They usually say, okay, I'll give you another uh, pricing. Also, on, on the side note of that, try to fly, find a supplier that could, like, is... You can build a relationship over time like um i know some of them usually do like um i don't know i added many of them on wechat already and i think the you like give me little tips and also little discounts and samples of new products so yeah it's basically humans on the other side and you could basically build a relationship um that will benefit both of you guys because they're I think some of them work on a commission I'm not sure but they're happy when I order from them and they recommend new products to me and I'm happy to research that because I have a lower profile and I like researching and it's good that they give me ideas because I yeah I sometimes run out of ideas to research okay thanks for watching guys see you in the next video